Hi, my name is Dr. Ray Pastor, and today I'm going to be talking about how to change the file size, image size, canvas size of an image in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so the first thing I want to tell you is that when you bring a new image into Photoshop, which is you do by going file open or file new, you create a new one. Once you put a JPEG, like an image you've taken with your camera into Photoshop, you cannot make it bigger than it is. When you make an image bigger, like a photo, it becomes pixelated. So as I make this picture bigger, you can already see blown up at 200%, it's slightly blurry, which means it would print terrible. 300%. Notice how it's just going to get more blurry, more blurry, until I can see the pixels. This is pixelated. Pixelation is bad. As a rule of thumb, you cannot make an image bigger in Photoshop than what you took it at. You can maybe make it slightly bigger and your eyes aren't going to notice the difference, but overall you cannot do it. Makes it pixelated. Okay, so to change the image size, first we're going to go to image, image size. Alright, we can see at the top of the screen, we can see the file size. If we want to change the file size, we simply make it smaller. We can see our actual size, 475 by 366, width and height, right here. I have it in pixels. I prefer pixels. I like pixels. Sometimes I'll use the others, like inches or something. But for this example, on this one, I'll just use pixels. My resolution is at 72. Um, if I was printing, my resolution would probably be at 300. But you can tell right away, since it already has my resolution at 72, this image is for the web or for you know, the computer. Um, in order to change the image size, I simply select one of these and create a new size. Notice how my image file size has changed and my width has changed, but my height has not. Let's even change the width more to 200. You can preview it. You can see what it's looking like, but let's click OK. Looks kind of funky. It'd be nice if I could change the width and height at the same time. So let me show you how to do that. I go back to image, image size. I'm going to click this little box. It looks like a chain link called aspect ratio. Now that this is checked, once I change my width, notice the bottom number changes too. The height changes automatically. So it keeps it in scale. And now it's changed. Perfect. I'm going to undo that and go back. So that's image, image size. Make sure aspect ratio is checked, and then it changes both the height and width at the same time. And I can change the height, and it'll change the width. All right? Okay, canvas size. So imagine painting a painting that's, you know, 11 by 14, which is a very common file or canvas size. And you, all of a sudden, you would like to put a border around it. Or you want to, you know, have some blank space at the bottom to put like a little welcome message or a date or something. You can't do that. But in Photoshop, you can do that. I can change the canvas size. Right now, my image size, is, it's a certain size. My canvas is a certain size. But if I go to image, canvas size, I can all of a sudden, oh, I just want that to be nice and white so you can see it. It was set on foreground. I'm going to put it back to background. You can see my width and height. They're in inches. I'm just going to keep it in inches. Essentially, what's happening is my image is this circle right here. Watch what happens when I add one inch to each of these. I'll make this seven, and I'll make this six. What it's going to do is it's going to add a half an inch because I added one inch. So half an inch to the left, half an inch to the right for one inch. I'm going to click OK. I just created a new canvas, which I can, you know, I can do whatever in Photoshop in here. I can add a border. I can write a message. I can add whatever I would like to there. I can go to back to image, canvas size. I can just add an inch or two inches to the width. And now we've just extended the width, not the height. If I would like to just extend one size, oops image size, I go to image, canvas size, I can click the arrow. What that's going to do is it's going to add, by clicking the, the right arrow, I've just added space right here on the left. Watch. I'll go to width, I'll make this 8, so I've added 2 inches to the width, but watch what's going to happen. It's only adding it to the left. Let me show that again. Image, canvas size, 
by clicking the arrow. So let's say I want to add some space at the top to write like a, a date or a little message saying like sunset on this image. This is an image that I drew with color pencil at one time. I'll click the bottom so I have some space up here. I'm going to go to height and I'm going to add two inches. So five plus two is seven. Click OK. And now I can write a little message up here. My canvas size is extended. And that's how to change the image size and the canvas size in Adobe Photoshop CC. Thank you.